with the mandatory masking, will there be fewer cases of influenza and other viruses during the fall? So we really hope if we continue to adhere to the best practices of good hand hygiene, masking when you can't physically distance, and small social circles of less than 10, going into the fall respiratory season, we could have a, a smaller impact by not just COVID-19, but all of the respiratory bugs. So typically in the beginning of September, when children return to school, we start to see cold viruses circulating. So runny nose and fever and achiness and sometimes sinus pain. We then see the common uh, group viruses called parainfluenza and a bug called RSV, which causes the small little tubes of children's lungs to get plugged up. Uh, that causes bronchiolitis. And then we see a, a sudden surge of influenza, which really has a serious and prolonged effect on the hospital sector. If we go into this respiratory season really adhering to the best practices, we could decrease the impact of all of these. Because this will be very confusing for the healthcare system, it will be confusing to parents and employers and, and in school settings if all of these viruses circulate like normally. Because we won't be able to differentiate them from COVID-19. So, as a community, starting for the school respiratory season, we must adhere to the best practices. It will really help us throughout the, the long winter months and protect our community.